All right, guys, we're here in La Mango restaurant, that's in um, GRE, and uh, we are actually at the swimming pool area. We have our models already, they're all here. And um, you see, the thing is, we are trying to play with underwater shoots. If you have a look at my hand, you see this new, brand new camera that I've got. It's not actually a camera, it's just the back cover that we use to cover our 500,000 Naira equipment, or probably like $2,500, if you know, depending on the country you're from. This allows me to put my camera underwater without having to think about, you know, without having to think about killing myself. When light travels from air, it is refracted underwater, which means uh, if you have light traveling this direction, once it gets underwater, it's, it tilts a bit. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. Let me take you back to class for a bit. All right, uh, this is basically what I'm trying to explain. This is not a set of diagrams, so there's no nothing going to be fancy over here. In actual fact, this is a physics, physics class. So basically, it's going to be physics 101. Yes, this is for you people that decided to stab physics class when you were in school. All right, but uh, let me just get straight to the point. Um, Let's imagine this is our pool, and uh, that's the bottom of the pool, that's the top of the pool. Uh, let me just give it a bit of more color so that you'll be able to understand the depth. So that's the bottom right there, and that is the top, okay? So uh, what generally happens with light is we all know that light travels in a straight line, but uh, light can bend, the, or the only time light bends is when it passes from one substance of a different density into, a, into another substance of a different density. Basically, what that means in English is, uh, is if we have light in the air, the, the speed in which light moves or travels in air is different from the speed in which light moves and travels in water. Okay, so uh, when we when we see light moving from air into water, there's a term called refraction that occurs. Okay, because a little bit of uh, because of the different speed in which light itself is traveling between both mediums. All right, so that term refraction occurs. Uh, let me just show you all of this graphically. Um, let's say we have our light source. And um, normally, since light travels in a straight line, this is how the light is meant to come out. Okay? So the light is meant to, um, it's meant to start from the main source and then travel all the way down. But that is not the way it works. Huh? So what really happens on the water is that the light is refracted at an angle and this is what happens all right so instead of traveling all the way straight it actually bends at an angle and then you see it coming out the you know, tilted at a certain angle i don't want to go into numbers so we don't get to confuse uh, some people so because of this uh, we need to be able to know exactly where to place our lights since we know that it's not going to travel straight line it's not going to travel in a straight line we need to just place it in a separate way so that our models Instead of our model swimming here, uh, let's just draw a quick one. If our model were to be here, let's imagine this is a model here. Okay, Under normal circumstances, if the light was traveling straight, the light is going to hit the model. Okay, But since we are, refra since, uh, we are traveling from one medium into the other, that is from air into water, and the refraction has occurred, you notice that the light has actually gone all the way, and then it's is tilted at an angle so the light source the light itself is not going to hit our model so what we need to do really is to reposition our model from here into here this is when the light is going to hit the model all right so let's get back to the swimming pool and uh, continue So basically, we are getting uh, we're getting good shots. I'm not sure if you can see it properly, but you'll definitely get to see that at the back of the screen. That is a fantastic shot of him directly on the water, all right, with um, with proper spotlighting. And then you need to open your eyes. Open the eyes. 
She has raised her head up. <laughs> so. No, she's over there. Let's do it one more time. Where's my love? Your love is going to be there. Let's go, go, go. As you are swimming, don't put your eyes. No, can't put them. Don't put your head. Raise your head up. I can't, I can't hear you. Alright, stand up. Can you sit down? That is good. Ah. Okay. Tell her, okay, you can't hear underwater. It's okay, my dear. <laughs> <laughs> are you okay? Are you alright? Are you fine? <laughs> now that is fantastic. I love what you've done today. Okay, we're just going to step out of the pool for a second and talk about the setup diagram. Alright, so let's get started. First of all, we have the pool. As usual, I'm not the best artist, so that is my own representation of a pool. And um, we have our camera placed just by here. Okay, and then um, we have our lights around that particular region. So this particular one is a 580EX2. This is a 430EX2. They are both Canon flashes. They are mounted on a receiver. Okay, both of them are mounted on each, the, you know, separate receivers and um, these receivers are triggered using the transmitter now the transmitter is on the camera itself but there's one thing that we found out all right um, Wi-Fi itself does not work underwater uh, because when we dipped the camera underwater with the transmitter it didn't send the signals out so it's basically passing from one medium to the other uh, just like the way we talked about light traveling from one medium to the other um, I don't know too much about that, but um, as far as this experiment is concerned, it did not uh, work from water into, into air. So, what we did was that we just basically placed the transmitter a little bit above uh, pool level. I almost said sea level there, but just a little bit above so that you could actually see the receivers that are you know, connected to the flashes. Okay. So we have all of that connected, we have this connected, we have that connected, and um, the flashes themselves, they are wrapped around with um, some sort of transparent material uh, to prevent water from you know, splashing on them, because there's going to be a lot of splashes uh, from models and, and uh, swimming itself. You could basically just use anything, you could use cling film, uh, anything basically that is see-through to protect your equipment all right and the last thing from here is the models all right so basically we have our models our models are going to they're going to swim uh, so let's say they start swimming from here uh, this is the region where it's going to be well lit since the light is hitting here also the light is hitting here uh, one more thing before I even jump into the models the flashes themselves they are connected to or oh, they are tilted at a 45 degree angle so once it enters the water at 45 degrees, it is also tilted again since the light is traveling from light from air into water. So it is tilted again. So instead of having our light hit around here, it is actually going to hit around here. Okay, even tilted at 45 degrees. All right, so because of that tiny tilt, we need to know exactly where the hot spot will be. That's we need to know exactly where the light is going to be focused. So uh, we're just going to let our model swim from here all the way here. And then we're going to take their pictures. And that's about it. Let's see how it goes. Hopefully we get to have fantastic shots. And um, let's get back to the pool. All right. So thank you very much. Um, please make sure that you... That is why once again, why I say hi. And that is Catherine. She's a beautiful swimmer. She swam all the way to 12 feet. <laughs> 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 Alright, so, so the next video, I'll see you guys. Bye.